Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? This is your boy, 82 Kid. Yes, my license plate. So I'm calling myself 82 Kid. I wanted to make a video tonight while I watch my two cats in front of my radio, which does work. And let me stay on point. I would like to discuss the issue of the gig apps and tipping. And the two schools of thought on what to do with no tip orders, etc., etc. Now, I see a lot of channels talk about DoorDash. I don't hear anyone talking about Walmart Spark. I do Walmart Spark. I'm technically a multi gig person. I do Walmart Spark and Instacart. Instacart has been almost useless lately. That whole thing about two and three batched orders, it gets real confusing real quick. But I'm not here to talk about Instacart that much, as I am Walmart Spark and specifically tips and tip baiting. Tips and tip baiting. So, I'm doing Spark all day, as I usually do. And the last order that I have of the night is for $12 for two stops. So, it's about $6 a stop. So one of the, uh, the first customer that I have to drop off, they have a box of diapers and two bags. And I looked at the notes on my screen. Walmart Spark, it gives you little notes, etc. It says, basement door down the stairs, left side of the house. So it's a little bit after 8 o'clock, and I've been doing Spark all day. And I just thought about it, and it just hit me. It hit me like a, like a brick wall. It's $12, so that's about $6 for the order. There's no tip. And I have one more order to do after it. So I said, I'm going to put that box of diapers in two bags right at the top of the stairs. Let me get my cat out of a certain area. Yeah, I had one of those orders that I realized was a no tip order with the notes. They're called notes on Spark that say, Basement, down the stairs, left side of the house. I was just like, no, no. You're not getting it brought down the stairs to your door. You're not. And mostly because there's no tip. And there's a couple of thoughts ran through my mind. The first one is, that's a no tip order. Screw that. I'm just going to go on to the next one and deliver it and then go home. And the order after that, I decided to not take anyway. I'll talk about that here in a minute. The second thought is... um. If they're not happy with our delivery service, they can always go to Walmart and shop for it themselves. But they're not going to do that. So those two thoughts made me think about this whole tip situation. And what I would hope to bring to you in this video, everyone, everyone viewing out there on YouTube, is a different way to think about and look at gig apps, at least how I do. Now, again, most of the videos that I watch are about DoorDash and the, uh, there's a channel called Dashing Trader. He's a younger dude. <laughs> he might be in his 20s. I don't know. I was in my 20s once as well. And I stopped watching his channel not only because it's DoorDash and I don't do DoorDash. I only do Spark and Instacart. But because no trip, no tip, no trip. It's one of the most clickbaity things I've ever heard. If you're in a market that you're getting so many abundance of orders that you can just decline orders at will and only take the orders with tips, you have a pretty good life. You actually have it pretty well. And if you have that much of a multitude of work available that you can just look at the screen and choose which one has a tip and choose which one doesn't and say no to every no tip order and then take the ones that have a tip, Man, I will drive my car there and I will stay there. I will find a vacant lot or an empty Walmart parking lot and I will live out of my car. I will find every shelter and homeless resource available and I will do my best within a week to a month to live there and set up shop because I need to be where you're at making that money. That's that's where I need to be. I don't care. California, Florida, where are you at? Now, in the real world, this is another reason I stopped watching this dude's channel because I'm like, yeah. No tip, no trip. That's a little bit of a trigger of mine. People like me, especially in zones like I am, I'm in the Neptune, New Jersey zone. We need to take what's available. Whatever comes through, even if the offer is not good. You don't work, you don't get paid. Here's another. 
This is the third time this has happened. As I'm recording this video, it came across first come, first serve. I'm not even going to look at it because the last one was at Neptune, New Jersey. And uh, the other one was to go from Brick to Tom's River, 7.8 miles for $15. And that's literally, that's a dollar a mile. Now, normally I would have taken that one, but I realize that is dead time. Your return trip is not making any money for you. Everything out here is too far away. If you're going through Brick to Tom's River, first of all, Tom's River is huge. It's three or four miles from where I'm at to the Walmart and Brick. Then you got to go the three or four miles back through Lakewood on Route 70 to Tom's River. Who knows where in Tom's River you're going. It might have you go on Route 37, which they have a road closed, so you have to go even farther. Just to come all the way back, you're talking, you're talking almost 20 miles for $15. I said no to that offer. It's one of the first offers I said no to because it wasn't worth it. Back to this no tip thing. And I'm going to tell you about tit baiting. I'm going to tell you about a story I heard that has stuck with me. Goldie, Goldie, come here. I'm going to tell you about a story I heard about tit baiting that has stuck with me that will never be me because I'm, I operate differently. What I mean by I operate differently is one of these channels told a story about someone they had like a $65 order and $50 of it was tip. Nobody's talking about Walmart Spark. Walmart Spark, a customer has up to 24 hours after you serve them, after you've done your work and delivered their product and you've gone about your way and you've went to sleep or done whatever you're going to do, Walmart Spark has up until 24 hours. That means on the 23rd hour and the 59th minute, they can log into their app and zero out your tip after you've done what you're doing. Someone told a story about they had a $65 order or something like that. $50 of it was a tip, and it was a large order. It was many bags. It was cases of water. They said the person brought the order into the person's kitchen, which if you're trying to make a good impression, you you would do that. You can do that. I've seen videos about the difference between home delivery and Spark. Look, I can make a video about how people are going to look to take advantage. And this is the first part of my video about you shouldn't have that mindset. You should have a mindset of what can I do today? What money can I make? Screw tips. Don't even look at tips. And then they said that that person thought they had $65 and they looked at their account even several hours later and the tip was changed to zero. That's called a tip bait. So anytime you hear no tip, no trip, think about the $50 tip that someone thought they got and someone effectively stole it back from them because people are jerks like that. People will do things like that just because they can. There's no morals today. Nobody cares. You know, you talk about carts in the parking lot. Look, that's just entertainment. Nobody has time to put their cart back, at least not in this town. And tomorrow I have a video of the cart attendant moving the carts. You can't, you know, we don't have, we don't have anything better to do. Our society has been screwed since the Kardashians. Um, people will put a $50 tip on an app and then zero it out. That's just wrong. So if you're, if you're working by your tip available, I don't, I don't think that you're doing it right. You know, maybe it's different for DoorDash and I'm going to shout out another channel. Zach drives fast. Zach, I used to live in Jacksonville. I used to live by Beach Boulevard and University Ave South, man. I live six miles or 10 miles from the beach and I never went to the beach. I think you're in a really good spot. Zach, I love your channel. I love, you know, you're doing DoorDash as well. I actually watch your channel because you're not clickbait. You're not, no tip, no trip. You're not like that young kid, dashing trader. You're not like that guy. No tip, no trip. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not like that guy. Um, you, you really do give off Gerard Butler vibes like you're about to take back the White House. I like your channel, man. If you're going to do an order, just do the order. You might have to take not good orders that come through. People are ready to fight over orders out here. I thought someone had an order grabber today. The orders went so fast. They probably do. So people change zones. People come from different zones. You get people two at a time in a car. They each have two phones. I've seen Mercedes Sprinter vans that are like people transport vans. It's vicious out here, man. But no tip, no trip is bullshit. Take whatever order comes through. Don't even worry about the tip. Make your money like I do.